Well, snowpack might be a little down, but there's plenty of ice to do a little fishing. KPVI News that works for you, journalist Lewis Conrad bundled up and walked on water to figure out how it's done and how to stay safe while doing it. No sooner do Idaho's lakes and reservoirs freeze than holes are drilled and sticks are on the ice. Ice fishing is a sport that can be as simple as dropping a baited hook in a hole. I mean, my favorite bait is actually to use a simple thing of pepperoni. It's pizza pepperoni, so they like it. It doesn't take much, that's all you need. But there are things anglers use to make the experience more comfortable and safer. A lot of people like to use uh, uh, drills for the, for the ice. Um, they can, that way you don't have to spend a lot of time and effort uh, trying to use a uh, pick to, to break the ice apart. Um, a lot of people have ice shanties. Ice shanties keep you warm um, and keep you away from the wind. Uh, it's a pretty great way to, to stay warm and be able to fish for a lot longer. A nice shanty is nice, but the best tip for staying warm is staying dry. Idaho Fish and Game recommend ice be at least four inches thick to confidently hold a person. Having a heavy steel bar like a spud bar to check the strength in front of you is also a good idea. Avoid dark spots on the, on the lakes. Uh, those are usually where the springs are or, or where warmer water is. Um, and that, that's where the ice is usually thinner. Knowing what to do when you fall in is just as important as knowing how to avoid it. Even the most experienced of sportsmen can end up in the brink. Brock Gilman is a professional fisherman who found out firsthand the dangers. Due to a large unmarked hole, he says was made by polar plungers. I was trying to get up here off the dock and get all my gear in and out of uh, off the ice. And uh, yeah, my back leg went in and then next thing I know I was... I was in the water all the way, and uh, it's a very scary situation. Luckily, I had a very critical piece of safety equipment, and that's the spikes that I was able to grab onto the ice with and then grab the dock and get out. If you fall through, make sure that you sprawl your arms out as fast as you can. Um, a lot of uh, getting out of those is self-recovery. Make sure that you stay on your belly and always act like a seal. Um, the more body weight dispersed will mean less chance of you falling through again. Um, as soon as you get a chance to, uh, make sure to change the dry clothes and get warmed up um, and yeah, call EMS. Without my equipment, without the training that I had, I, I probably wouldn't have, you know, been in that very small percentile of people that actually make it out of an ice hole. Despite falling in, Brock says it hasn't deterred him one bit. He was back out on the ice the very next day. Have fun with your family on the ice. Uh, watch the children when they are on the ice with you, please. And uh, make sure that, you know, everybody comes out and has a great time because that's what we're all here for is to have an awesome time and uh, catch, catch some fish. Reporting for KPVI, Lewis Conrad, news that works for you.